Hello there! So, uh, another week has come and gone, and we're here to build more Mega Men. So, I, I got this version... Hang on, let me turn the music up. It's very low. I got this version of Mega Man X uh, from Kotobukiya, specifically because... I thought it would be more interesting than just like a regular blue Mega Man, which we'll already be building. We'll in fact be building two blue Mega Men. So I thought it'd be nice to mix something up with a red Mega Man. Plus, uh, this one comes with some unique parts that I thought would be cool. So yeah, we're gonna build some men who may or may not be Mega sized. Uh, as you can see, this one comes with some unique effect parts that we'll get into. Uh, this is based off of his Rising Fire copy ability from X4. Da, 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 da. What you're listening to right now is uh, an old remix album. I don't, I haven't visited OC Remix, the site itself, in years, so I don't know if they're like still up and running, still doing big collab albums. But I used to listen to their albums a lot. And uh, this is their Mega Man X1. It's got some bangers in it. It's got some less than bangers. It's kind of what you'd expect from a big musical collab. But uh, I thought it'd be a fun listen for tonight. It's very long too, so it might last us a couple live build streams. Which is always nice. I don't like having to switch albums in the middle of a stream. Do da 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 We're gonna start off with X's little itty bitty face. Just like Zero, he's got a few faces here. Uh, some of them look a little, a little surprised. Without the, uh, without the helmet kind of furrowing his brows, these look kind of funny. But <laughs> we'll get to it. So this is gonna go in here. In fact, this kit has a ton of effect parts. I think I spent more time cutting out the effect parts than I did on the rest of the kit, which is uh, interesting. I guess if you want that full rising fire attack effect, you need it. Done. Yeah, it's like it is exactly like that Cooper tank. Uh, in fact, I've seen similar things for Mega Man X before, where where they kind of just draw his facial expressions in like an art book, you know, the material that might be available in the art books, and he doesn't. They didn't bother to draw his helmet because it's just the focus is just the expressions, so it looks kind of goofy. That helps. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. And then these will sandwich together to create almost a full head. You can see the shape coming together there. That's an iconic shape. Da, 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 da. 
This is the X5's opening stage theme. There we go. Looking good. Like I said, this this OC Remix album has quite a few bangers. It's pretty good overall. I feel like OC Remix was like a pretty good source of like video game, like remix music. Again, I don't know if OC Remix like still up and running, if there's still big collabs like like these albums. I hope so. I think that's cool. Yeah, when I, when I was a teen, with nothing to do, hanging out on the moon, and I had internet, it was always one of my favorite things. Like, I would just, it would, I wasn't, like, browsing it religiously, but I would check back often just to see, like, what new things they might have released, and, like, to see if anything was done for games that I liked. Hello, Joda Branded. Nice to see you. Da-da-da-da. Something this past E3 catch my eye? You know, I thought this this E3 was pretty lame. I think it's really funny that 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 uh that they're like, oh yeah, E3's coming back, it's gonna be great. I miss big extravagant uh, industry events that are just jerking off for investors. And then it was terrible. But there were some games that caught my eye, like we've already mentioned good old chaos. We're gonna have to kill. Uh, that game looks fun. I don't own a PS5, so I didn't get to try the demo. Uh, but it looks fun. It definitely like looks like it has combat I'd like more than regular Dark Souls. Anyways, here's here's X's little baby face. Dun, 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 dun. dun. And gotta put his mouth in there. That's important. Your little baby boot. Dun dum. See, when it's just a head like this, then it's a one up. You gotta collect the heads. Oh, yeah, Metroid Dread looks fantastic as well. I wasn't sure if I should count Nintendo's. Uh presentation as like an E3 conference because they've just been doing their their own like little video things for a while now and like the stat the format of it wasn't any different than usual but yeah I guess they did like prepare some blow it specifically for the E3 season but yeah Metroid Dread looks great I am super excited for that I love Metroid Advance Wars finally coming back is pretty good as well yeah Yeah, I'm ecstatic about Metroid. Yeah, and the Monkey Ball Collection. That'll be fun. I love the Monkey Ball games. Those games are fun. I'm very excited to get the chance to revisit them. Hi, mhe123. Nice to see you on this Sunday evening. Uh, what else from Nintendo's was I excited about? We had Monkey Ball, we had Metroid. Uh, they announced Kazuya and Smash, that was pretty fun. Kazuya looks like a real wacky character. I 
I guess... I mean, Capcom didn't show anything new, but since they showed it there, I'll say I'm very excited about Great Ace Attorney. The fact that it's both of those games packaged together sounds very nice. Yeah, I, I feel like you're in, in a boat. A lot of my friends are in MHE where, where they're like, wow, I never expected Advance Wars to, to come back in any way, even though they're, they're not new games or remakes of the originals. Oh yeah, SMT5 got got a big gameplay reveal. That looks fantastic. I want to kiss the protagonist. I want to steal his gender. It's mine now. Can't have it back. Bom, bom, dom, dom. I missed one tiny piece in this runner. I thought I got it, but I didn't. It's the balls. You played Monkey Ball game when you were super young because the Blockbuster had misplaced it in a Kirby game. Oh, like they put the disc in the wrong box? That's funny. Still, I guess, uh, mistakes into miracles, right? The Monkey Ball games on GameCube are super fun. Those games rule. Uh, you've only played the GBA Monkey Ball game? Well, basically how the GameCube Monkey Ball games work is you're sort of... You, 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 it's very momentum physics based. You're on this basically like giant game board and your goal is to, is to roll your monkey in its ball to the end of the course without falling off into the abyss. And you have to like, you have to move your monkey around at the same time and instead of controlling the camera, the other stick kind of moves the board, right? It's like one of those marble rolling games. Like, I remember there's a lot of mini games and video games that are like that. Like those like that those bits in Resident Evil 8. <laughs> Except that you're... Yes, yeah, sorry, Joda Brandon, you're right. You move the monkey. You move the board, not the monkey. I got it mixed up. You, you don't move the monkey. You manipulate the board. Sometimes I get my words confused. Yeah, you manipulate the board around the monkey and use the, the momentum in, like, physics created by moving the board. Apollo's Pride! 
Hello! Nice to have you here, Apollo. I was wondering if you would ever tune in for one of my streams. Apollo's Pride is a is a fellow VTuber. He's a, a lion prince. Very nice. Well, I hope you consider yourself lucky, Apollo, getting to see my three-dimensional meat hands as I put together a Mr. Mega Man X here. It's the wrong one. There we go. The other ones go on the back. I say as I drop it. Oh, you've lurched before. Well, wow. that's fun. That's fun, too. It's always fun to haunt someone's stream like a ghost sometimes. Yes. Yeah, Monkey Ball was uh, developed by the same people as... Uh, F-Zero GX, and who would go on to make the, uh, the Yakuza free series. Very fun. Monkey Ball games are great. I'm, I'm very excited for these re-releases so that I can get the chance to play them again. It's been a long time. ba da ba da 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 ba da da Da, 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 da. Yeah, I'm I'm glad to have you as a fellow Monkey Ball fan, Apollo. You, I knew you were a man of taste. You've got good taste in boys, and you got good taste in video games. Well, you're the complete package. Cal 255, welcome to the Rose Rabbit Army. Put on the bunny ears, it's compulsory. Da, da, da. Alright, now we gotta put his underwear together. I'm honestly surprised there haven't been more, like, GBA-specifically styled indie games. Like, targeting that era of feel specifically. There we go. There's, there's his underwear. X will, will now have a bottom half. Good for him. There you go. Looking good, X. Got your body. Da -da 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 -da. Now we're gonna move on to his arms. Or first we're gonna build a bunch of hands, then his arms. Look at these hands. I think there's one thing that's always been very funny about the X characters' designs is they have giant hands. Like, just absolutely massive. <laughs> G 
Get equipped with throwing hands. That's very good. I like that. I just dropped something and then I picked it up and I dropped it again. Go me! So I'm going to do the method I did last week when we were building zero. I'm going to put the hands together a little bit and then drop the uh, poly cap in there. Because they'll, they'll just fall out otherwise. There we go, like that. So here's a fist. Clenched in determined anger and righteous justice. I don't know much about Digimon, actually. It's funny, because it was a topic of conversation in, in a private chat earlier today. I I caught some of it when I was just little, and some of the radio waves came to the moon, the television signals. And the only ones I, I caught a bit of were, were like the very first one, and what is it? O2? Whatever the sequel was. And the one, the, the one that I don't think was related to the plotline of those, which was just like, they, they henshin transformed into the Digimon. Those are the one, the Digimon shows I remember. Da, 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 da. Frontier, is that the name of the one where they where they transformed? I remember it, had, it also had like a weird isekai element to it. Unless I'm getting it mixed up with another show where they like... Where like the, the protagonist got hit by a truck or something. And then he like... Like... It was weird, because, like, he didn't get transported immediately into the world of Digimon. I mean, all Digimon are technically Isekai, but I mean, this was the most Isekai, because it involved getting hit by a truck. But he, like, didn't get teleported immediately to the digital world. He, like, he, like, got up for being hit by a truck, and then, like, found himself in a weird train station, and that took him to the digital world. Maybe I'm getting, like, a couple things combined in my brain, because I don't remember any of them too well. I'm not sure. Like I said, it was a very long time ago, and I don't remember it super well. Yeah, it's, it's certainly interesting. 
Like, I definitely remember something with, like, a big train station, and they all got on trains together. And that's what took them to the digital world, and it also is what took them back to the human, the regular world, you know, the real world at the end. You can assure me that doesn't sound anything like the first five series. Well, okay. I don't know what it's from, then. <laughs> oh yeah, just as a reminder, it's so gone going right now, you can see it in the top right. If you want to see me play the Mega Man ZX games, help me get to the donation goal. The first Digimon had the trains, but no truck accident. Oh, right, well. I have no idea where the truck thing is from, then. It could just be, like, something I've conjured in my head and did not actually exist. Who knows? The villain of the second show got hit by a truck? Well, maybe that's it, then. I don't know. Yeah, truck -kun makes many appearances, so it could be anything. Oops. Anyways, I'm pretty sure that's that that was maybe the first time I learned what a train was as a rabbit living on the moon, you know. Not tr no trains there. So this goes in here. And then this one goes here. I mean, we wouldn't really have much need for trains on the moon. I mean, it's a kind of small community up there. And this one plugs in here. Yeah, I've heard a lot of good things about Digimon Tamers. I think if I if I were to watch any any Digimon, that would probably be it. Besides revisiting the the originals that I remember watching. Dun 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 dun. Am I am I putting this on backwards? Dun dun dun. Pro tag coon, thank you for subscribing. You've on a seven month strength. That's really impressive. And it means a lot. Yeah, thank you for renewing your dental plan. If you are a member of the Rose Rabbit Army, you get free dental, free healthcare in general. So I like to think of that as a very ins a very tempting offer. An offer you can't refuse. Yeah. My my friends who who were talking about Digimon with me earlier did mention there was like uh there was, like, movies about the original protagonists all grown up, except they were terrible. So, that's a shame. Oh, this might be on backwards. That's the problem. That's why it felt weird. There we go. There we go, there's one arm. We can ta and attach a hand there. Let's go with this one. We'll just go with the basic fists for now. There's one, and then we'll do the other one. 
The interesting part of this kit will definitely come in when we get to all the effect parts. The rising fire. And because it has effect parts for the like the regular charged buster shot and also the rising fire special weapon from X4, so. I think that'll be interesting. Go get on there. Now for the other parts of the arm. This is uh, Bubble Crab from X2. I remember this song a lot. It's one of my favorite songs from Mega Man X2. X2 is a pretty good game. I flip-flop... I flip-flop on it, whether I like it more or less than X1. It, it, it's better at throwing you into the action immediately than X1. X1 has this problem of... Um, I, I like replaying X1 because its levels are very good. Like, you can kind of enter this flow. And it feels good to 100% it. Like, I think X1 is probably... Maybe maybe X4 a little more. is probably the most fun one to, like, get every upgrade. Like, the heart tanks and sub tanks and stuff. But, um... X2 is better at, like, throwing you into a more fun game immediately. Because you get stuff like the, uh, the dash right away instead of having to get the leg upgrade. I feel like... X1 is a little more limited in, like, the boss order you can take, because, like, you just need that leg upgrade first. Like, who's who's not going to fight Chill Penguin first? You need that dash. And X2, it, you have the regular dash from the beginning, and the leg upgrade is the air dash, which is very nice. Overall, I think the platforming in X2 feels a little bit better because of that. X4 still still remains my favorite of the X series though. Yeah, it's, uh... X-Series is a little rough, because, in my opinion, it has... Some of... Like, X-4 is one of the greatest Mega Man games ever made. And X-1 and X-2 are pretty good, and X-3 is okay. And then the re like, the entire other half of that series is pretty woof. It's not great. I played X-8 a couple weeks ago as part of this little Mega Man marathon, and it was... It was not the best. Certainly better than uh, X, X6 and X7, and X5 as well, but that's not a high bar to cross, unfortunately. Here's his other arm. 
I like to hope we can get another X game someday, but I feel like it has to be something different. I think if you're gonna have the classic Mega Man series at the same time as the X series, then the X series just needs to be a different game. Because while the X series does have things that differentiate it from Mega Man Classic, I feel like those things are, have started to bleed into Mega Man Classic, like uh, the power gear in Mega Man 11 just gives you charge shot upgrades like the Buster upgrades do in Mega Man X, so... Uh, the Like, Mega Man Classic is just slowly starting to absorb X's gimmicks, and so I, I feel like they should just make X like a new game entirely. Like, I keep saying this, they should just make a, an X game that plays like Vanquish. I feel like the format works perfectly. On to the legs now. The leggies. I've always been a fan of the uh, the thick proportions on Mega Man X characters. Like their legs and arms are huge. Really gets across the idea that they're they're wearing battle armor of a sort. Let's see, how does this go on? Yeah, the thick the thick armor, it's all for their protection. Do Here we go. Okay, this is right. I think it should like that. quite right. I I really like Metroid Prime. I, I've heard I've heard the opinion expressed before that um, the first person makes platforming awkward, but I never felt that way. I always thought it felt fine. Oh I see it goes it goes through here. There we go. It goes in this little gap. Or not? Am I doing? I'm doing something wrong. I mean, if I look at how these two come together. Dun dun. Oh, okay, I got it now. There we go. Dun dun dun. dun. Dum 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 dum. Yeah, I remember I remember that prototype demo where where X was it was like a first person shooter X game. That's partially what I what I mean when they should ch just make X play like a Vanquish. That's partially my inspiration in that in that opinion because I think that game looked cool. Metroidvania ZX3. Well, ZX1 did try to have that Metroidvania style map 
It, it lied to you, though. The map just, like, lied to you. It was just wrong, so... Uh, I hope whoever would do that would do a better job of designing its map. Dun -dun -dun. Yeah, I mean, you could you could really just, like, make Mega Man uh, a boomer shooter and it'd work because, like, his copy weapons, you could just, like, make, like, the traditional boomer shooter weapons. Like, you could have, you know, a flamethrower, a, plas a plasma shot. Uh, you know, some sort of shotgun equivalent. I mean, Mega Man X1 literally has that weapon called Shotgun Eyes, so... I don't think it would be that hard with, with, with a little bit of imagination. Um, I think about, like... Like, you could make... You know, when X gets armor upgrades, he usually gets some sort of big cle screen clearing super attack. You could make that the BFG equivalent. All it takes is a little bit of creativity. Yeah, some sort of railgun. You know, a bunch of cool stuff. I feel like. Mega Man copy abilities tra could translate very easily into shooter weapons. YouTube is asking me if I'm still watching, and I'm like, yes, of course I am. Oh, this one's funny. This this song that the they remixed is funny because it's it's kind of a if you've ever listened to the Megas it's kind of in that style of giving the song lyrics. Yeah, Rockman X Dive is uh, the gotcha, right? That that one's interesting. It's got some cool. I think like a lot of gotchas, it's like oh, it's it's cool that they put, you know, I can recognize like an obscure character from like Command Mission or something. I'm like oh, that's cool that she's in there, like Marino. But, uh, you're gonna have a hard time convincing me to play a gotcha. It's just not the genre for me. But yeah, there's a... There, I know there's some sort of beta right now going on for Rockman X Dive. I think it's just on mobile, though. I, I watched some of it. Like, I've seen the gameplay. It's actually kind of like normal Mega Man gameplay, which is interesting. So I guess that wins the war, the the gotcha award for gotcha game that is most like an actual video game. It is bittersweet. I would love to see Capcom make a good fighting game again. I just don't think it's going to happen. I just don't think they have the uh, the internal talent for it. Like, all their, all their guys who made really good fighting games are not working at Capcom anymore. Except it's Suno, who made uh, Rival Schools and Power Stone. So, I don't know. Let it Suno make a new Power Stone. Or Rival Schools. Either of those would be great. I like these transparent pieces for the feet. And this ball goes in here. Hopefully this one comes together a little more easily than Zero's. Yeah, I'm... Uh, I'm not a fan of Street Fighter V, but I will check it out again for Akira because I love her. She's my favorite Rival Schools character. She's so cool.
Yeah, she's like a cool biker. It's great. I really hope they have um, costumes for her. Because, you know, we've seen her without the helmet. I hope they have a costume for her with the, the full biker leathers and the helmet on. Trying to get this leg together. There we go. I don't know. I don't expect Akira from Rival Schools to suddenly make me like Street Fighter Five, but I think it will let me have fun with it for uh, a few minutes. The same way I had fun with it a few minutes for a few minutes when when Sakura came out a while ago, because she's one of my favorite Street Fighter characters. It's a uh, it's really unfortunate that Karen, my my fa my like second favorite Street Fighter character behind Makoto, is is trapped in in Street Fighter Five and and Alpha Three. <laughs> Those are the only two games she's in. Seku is a cool character. It would be nice if he came back. Like, he's just proto Strider, but that's a cool idea. There's one leg. Now for the other one. X is all in pieces right now, but he'll pull himself together soon. I feel like the Marvel Infinite crew is probably never working on anything ever again. <laughs> like we know we know Combo Fiend isn't working for Capcom anymore, that's for sure. He's he's working for he actually works on, on Marvel's game division now. I'm just gonna put this in here now. Since I had both of those pieces in my hand. I mean, what do you consider being confirmed to be dropped? Like, the company saying we are no longer making updates for this game? Because, I mean, I guess they didn't say that, but I mean, Marvel's Infinite is definitely not getting updates anymore. <laughs> They'll just pretend, they're basically pretending the game never happened, yeah. Yeah, it's a it's a real shame that was the only game Mega Man fighting game Mega Man X has ever been in. Oof, that one hurts.
Don't know why I know. This song is really goofy, but I mean, it's really good at getting the words Tunnel Rhino stuck in your head. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's where Vox got that from. I think she's I think she's talked about how she's listened to the same album. Um, we can get back to the the pretty good songs now though i think a lot of the remixes in this album are pretty sweet Dun, dun, dun. And that goes over. Leg. that together this joint there we go so there's both his his whittle wigs now we just got to put the boy together and then we'll move on to something interesting not that this kit isn't interesting, I just mean something more interesting. Look at those giant hands. They're like the size of his head. My god. What did Dr. Light think you needed such large hands for, X? Must be for holding your boyfriend Zero. Dr. Light just knew. He knew he was making a gay robot. There we go. There's the boy. And his extra hands and faces. Uh, let's make a Mega Buster. An X Buster, even. <laughs> da -da -da. <laughs> 
So that's going to slide in there. Ferris Cindy, thank you for the raid. As always, I appreciate you handing over your viewers to me where they rightfully belong. We're putting together this X-Buster at this very moment. And Gun Tanks in Space, thank you for the raid as well. I'm glad so many people recognize that, really, you all deserve to be in the Rose Rabbit Army. I'm trying to get this X busted together, it's, it's, having, it's giving me a little trouble. It is absolutely a build time. A peer time that everybody wants to have. Come on, get in there. Let me try to squeeze these together. Sometimes it just takes some elbow grease. There we go. That looks fine. And then we're just going to put the, the little thing in there. This is certainly a lot better last week. Uh, it's certainly a lot easier to build model kits when it's not over 100 degrees and you're sweating all over the place. So if you want to put that buster on there, just got to take this arm off, put it on here. There you go. Looks pretty good. Uh, next up is probably the, the real gimmick of this kit. It's all the effect parts they added for this version of it. So we're going to have a lot here. Let me pull all of these out. So many fire effects. Like, you would not believe. Look at all of this. There's still more. Look at these, so much. Look at these giant orange pieces. Yeah, Kota, I have noticed uh, Kotobukiya kits do tend to be like loose sometimes. I've built, I built these Mega Man kits. I built um, J Decker and I built Deckard, and this is the one thing I've consistently noticed is that the joints tend to be kind of loose, or things tend to take some like, ooh, you gotta squeeze them together. Anyways, let's. <laughs> Let us put all of these effects together. Let me see here. The 
Let me see how this goes in. Hmm. I think it's like this. There we go. So this is like your your charged buster shot. Right. This is just what he fires normally out of his buster. And we sandwich these ones together. And this ring. Yeah, the effect parts, I'm usually not a fan of like giant, like excessive effect parts, but the ones on this kid actually look kind of nice. And it like, at least it's something that makes sense for Mega Man that has all these brightly colored like laser shots and stuff. Oh, where does this go in? There we go. So this is like a little stand for the buster shot. Right. Yeah, this is X from X4. This is specifically based off of his Rising Fire special move. Or not special move, copy weapon. The one you get for beating Magma Dragoon. So I'm going to put these together for now, but I'm going to demonstrate something with them in a minute. So here's your, like, charge shot effects. That looks pretty cool. So you get them, like, like maybe posed up. Oops, your arm, X. Right, you just get him, like, posed up with something like that, firing out of his buster. But you can also, you can also take apart, and I'll, I'll just demonstrate with these with the instructions, because it's hard to get a good camera angle, right? You can see here that, like, there's him posed up with the buster shot. That's, uh, yes, I'm going to show you the fireball in a minute. Uh, there's parts for the fireball. Or you can, like, kind of alternatively have those big chunky pieces, like, around him as, like, he's charging up. And you can, like, put a stand in there as well. Uh, it doesn't come with the stand, though. Next, we're going to do the actual effect parts for the Rising Fire. Dun. So there, you can you can have it as the normal like charged buster, or you can have it as like the uh, the rising fire shot that like points upward. And I'm going to when I complete these hands that are special for it, you'll you'll see. What am I fighting for? So there's the hands, and then what you're going to do is 
there's these tubes, and you, you plug them into the hands. So, like this. And fire effect parts will we'll plug into the tube. This one, this is the one I want. That one kind of goes back and around. It's kind of hard to tell them apart, so it might take me a second to get these. Yeah, I, I gotta say, if there's one thing Kotobuki kits do not skimp out on, it's effect parts. Oh, I don't think that's right. Da -da 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 -da. I think it might be this one. There we go. And then it's going to plug in here. Oops. Da 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 bum ba da na 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 na. Looks like candy. I kind of want to eat it. But I don't think it would taste very good.
Come on. Yeah, it looks like that cinnamon candy. I would not recommend eating it, though. I feel like I might have gotten something mixed up along the line. I should have labeled these pieces better because they're hard to distinguish. I think this one's better. I did see the announcement for the high grade Altison. I'm very interested in, in the the Super Robot Wars stuff. I hope they, they keep making them. Cause you know, Bondi has has a bad habit of just uh dropping new lines if they don't sell enough. Immediately. Yeah, I'd love to see Dai Gengar, I'd love to see uh EX X Bime. Yeah, Super Robot Shogun. I'm... God, th that line was good, and how it's just gone. Yeah. Yeah, I got the Shin Getter, and I got the uh, regular Getter 1 from Super Robot Shogokin, so I guess it's not all bad.
Why does this go on? I'm a little confused by it. There's like a groove here. What are my, some of my favorite fireworks? Um, you know, honestly, I'm not a big fireworks guy. I think they're enjoyable to watch sometimes, but I think most of the time they're just kind of annoying. You might have heard some going off in the background of my stream, which unfortunately I can't, I can't do anything about. It'll be easier if I do it like this. It's constant where you live right now. Yeah, it's, it's just a pain to me. I think fireworks are just kind of annoying and not really fun. Like, if it's a big show, then that's fun. But I don't like people just, like, setting off little ones constantly. It's kind of a pain. I did when when I was, uh, I I do like those little cherry bombs though that you just throw on the ground. I guess they're not cherry bombs. I don't know what you'd call them. Ninja ninja bombs. I don't know. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. Goodness. Goodness. All right. And this one should slide in somehow. That's true, it is Gak's birthday. I guess we can't help but- I guess celebrating Gak's birthday is compulsory, isn't it? We don't really have a choice. There we go. So there's one of the fire hands, and now we'll do the other one, which should be a little bit easier. Hopefully. I am poking myself doing this. These 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 fire parts are a little are a little pointy. Yeah, 
You've never let off a firework in your life because they scare you uh, and you're not American? Well, I guess the American one makes sense. I've never really been scared of fireworks, but I can see how, like, it might just not be a common thing for someone who's American, so they might be more... You just might not be used to it. Da -da -da, da -da. Let's take the handout again, because that made it easier. Makes it easier to hold. You do it for soccer down there? That makes sense. I know they get really into soccer down there. Trying to slip that hand back in there. This uh, hand fire procedure became a little bit more complex than I thought it would be. I thought, oh, it's just four pieces you like stack on top of each other. And nope. Turned out to be a little more complex than that. bubble crab again okay there we go there's our fire hands this is the part for the stand i mentioned that this kit doesn't come with it doesn't come with like a, a an action base dun, 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 dun. yes that's right there's even more effect parts i tricked you So you're going to combine these two. And which I think we'll do this hand. Yeah. This is the hand we want. So there's like, it's kind of like shaped like a gun and it's going to slide into one half of the hand here. Like that. And so what you do then is you disconnect the, the buster shot part from the stand. Ow, this is very sharp, so it's hard to work with. Okay, 
Okay, so we take that part off. And put this back together. And this kind of plugs into where the stand was before. Let me make sure I'm doing this right. Yeah, that's that's right. So you you take off his regular hand, and you can get him all stanced up in the in the fire pose, like from X4, where he's got his arm raised up. Like this, more or less. So, you get that whole thing to stand up. You're gonna have a hard time getting getting this to stand up straight, but it's pretty cool. That you can get him doing the firing, like, straight up pose. But, alternatively... What I think was is actually cooler, because they, they don't show this off in, like, the instructions, but they kind of show it off as an option in, like, in the front of the manual. Is that... You can kind of use it like a big fire punch, too, because he's got that glowing red fist in there already. So, I mean, if you use the, the Shining Finger during that Maverick Hunter X OVA, you could consider this the, the erupting burning finger. So I think that's honestly almost as cool as, as having this big effect part attached to him, where you can just have him doing a big fire punch, or sure you can even. Like, maybe you could have him do the sure you can from X2. Or you can, right? That's cool. I like that. But guess what? There is just one more thing. And it's the reason I built Zero first. Let me get him out here. Come here, Zero. So last week we built Zero, right? And he has his Z Saber. Well, there is effect parts exclusive to Zero in this kit where you can attach these big fire pieces together. And attach it to his Z Saber. Like that. So you can have him doing the, the big, like, rising fire pose from X42. Oops. Or like a, a big 
Just like side slash. But it's kind of, the plastic is kind of heavy, so his arm might fall off. You gotta be careful about that. Dun, 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 dun. So you can do the big fire slash from that's available in some games. Like X6, he has a move like this, like that too. So that's cool. So there's your, your big fire effects. Just the guys. You like effect parts, then you'll probably like this Mega Man X kit. And, uh, I mean, if you just want X with a little something extra, too, you got that. So this was a fun kit. I'm thinking next week, what we're gonna build is the Force armor for Mega Man X4. That's his armor from X4. I figure we might as well continue the trend, since X. this is very X4-0. This is a very X4-X. We might as, do the other, as well do the other X4 thing. The other one I have from the Kotobuki line is the Max Armor from X3. I got the special Gold Hyperchip version, so that'll be fun. And uh, I think we'll finish off the this Mega Man uh, series with the, uh, the Copy X from Mega Man Zero. Uh, that's by a different producer, Dimension Studios. You might remember... Many months back, I built their Zero, so that'll be fun comparison. Uh, so yeah, look forward to that. Next week, we're going to be finishing Zero 2 and starting Zero 3 as well. So look forward to that. Thank you, everybody, for watching one of my weekly live builds. I love doing these. They're very relaxing, very fun. A nice break from world conquering activities. So if you liked what you watched, consider uh, following... Consider joining the Discord as well, which can keep you up to date on all the happenings in the Rose Rabbit Army as we attempt our world uh, uh, conquering plans. So look forward to next week. More Zero goodness then. See you guys.